Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another weekly tip video. Today I'm going to look at a menu bar utility that is deceptively deep. Now Menu Bar X by 6X Studio looks like nothing more than an app launcher that sits in the menu bar, but it is so much more. I was genuinely surprised that the more I used it, the more I found out what it could do. So let's check it out. Now Menu Bar X is available for purchase through the Mac App Store as a free download. And it does have a pro subscription available, which costs £4.49. And that does look like a one-off upgrade at this time. However, if you have setup, then Menu Bar X has been added to that subscription with, of course, the pro version unlocked. And that's what we're gonna look at today. So I'm gonna click on open here to run it. And the Menu Bar icon appears. Now, when I installed and ran this for the first time, I did have the usual pop-up asking me to accept notifications, which I did. And here we have the Menu Bar X utility interface, which is just like a standard tablet or phone layout, really. There's a search field at the top for carrying out a web search. Then we've got a section below with some web apps. There's some music and video apps below that. Then a section for games, as well as some tools at the bottom. Now we're gonna look at this in some detail. I do want to close this setup application, but when I do that, I know some weird stuff is gonna happen with my recording software. So I'm just gonna quickly pause while I do that. Okay, that's done. Let's take a look at this little utility and see what it can do and how I find it extremely useful. So let's look at this web apps section. I'll click on show all here. And we have a large number of web apps that when we click on one to run it, it's gonna run in its own little space up here in the menu bar. So we've got the usual social media apps here, like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. We've got Coinbase and Binance for the crypto enthusiasts among you. We've got Reddit, Discord there as well, and so much more. I'll click show less here to collapse that. Then come down to music and video, where of course we have TikTok, we've got YouTube, YouTube Music, Spotify. Netflix is sitting in there as well. I'll collapse. Next, we come down to play, which is basically a list of games and puzzle type apps, including Wordle, you can see there. I think we'll try that later. Then at the bottom, we've got a list of tools such as a calculator, speed test is there as well, and more. So each of these can be run in the menu bar as their own mini application. And if you have the pro version, you can run as many of these concurrently as you like. And that's what we've got here with setup. Let's do a basic web search first, see how that works. Now, you don't have to use Google if I click the drop down here. I can switch between any of these search engines and I'll just type in a search term, so screencasts online. And you can see we have a web page here. It is of course fully interactive. I can scroll, I can click on the link to the site here and the screencast online web page opens. At the bottom of the window here, we can see the URL. Then there are some navigation buttons to the right of that to allow you to go back and forth between pages. You can even bookmark the current page as you would in Safari or Chrome. So to do that, I'll click this icon here, come down to bookmark. And this is where I will go to be able to access my bookmarks. Once I've got some, they'll be listed here. But for now, I'll just add the current page and that's been added. I can also get to my bookmarks by clicking on home here. And this takes me to the menu bar X homepage and at the top is a section for bookmarks. So I'll click and I'm taken to my bookmark site. And just look up here, the icon for Menu Bar X has changed to reflect the app or site that I'm currently in. So we can see the screencast online favicon is there. If the window here is too small, you can of course resize. And there's a couple of ways to do this. So first you can manually resize it by coming down to a corner and just dragging to the size of your choosing. Then you can also come down here and click on this button and come down to window size where there are some predefined sizes based on existing devices. So we've got devices like the iPhone SE, the Nexus 5, the iPhone 8 and 11, as well as at the bottom here, a full desktop. So you can set these tabs up to be pretty much any size you want and make them suitable for the app that's being displayed. Now let's click and change this to iPhone 8, I think. I'm gonna go back to the home page now by clicking on home here. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. 
you can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the Members Only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.